Hi everyone, just thought we'd do a short video about expander pellets. Now, there are no end of ready prepared pellets out on the market, but you can save yourself a little bit of money and come up with a product that's a little bit different just by putting a little bit of work in yourself with expander pellets. And there's a number of different advantages with that. Not only can you control um, the buoyancy of the bait, but also the flavour and the colours. So I'll just run through the various different things that you can do with your expander pellets. First up, the easiest method. Simply put your dry expander pellets into a bag, fill with water, then get out as much of the excess space around the pellets as you can and tighten them right up and then leave them overnight. What this does is it restricts the amount that your pellets can swell up. You end up with a nice, dense, tight pellet in the morning, just split the bag open and away you go. The downside is with this is some of these pellets will float, but in the winter in particular, that can be a real advantage. All you do, hook the pellet, drop it into a bait box of water on your side tray. You can just give it a little tiny nip just so the pellet just about sinks. This gives you a really nice neutral buoyancy bait that will get you those extra fish in the colder months. Next up is the bait pump. Simply pour your pellets into a pump. I uh, prefer the ringers one. Uh, simply give it two or three pumps. Watch all your pellets sink. Leave them in the pump for a couple of minutes. Turn the pump over, let the water drain out. And there you have it. Perfect expanders straight away. All these pellets will sink. Uh, and so that's far better for the summer. By using the pump, the next advantage you have is you can add flavours and colours. Here I've got some of the red krill flavouring and colouring from Mainline Baits. Simply add a little squirt of this to your water before you pump the pellets. And after five minutes of soaking in the water, they will take on all that colouring. You can have a bright red flavoured bait, which is going to be something else that not many other people are going to have on the bank. Don't waste the water though from the pump. Simply pour those into your feed pellets, soak them for five, 10 or 15 minutes. That really depends on, uh, on the pellets that you're using, how long you need to leave them in the water for. And they will also take on that color. And as you can see, your hook bait and your feed baits will now match in color. The final pellet you can prepare are oily pellets. And I like to use the mainline sticky syrups. Simply pump your pellets as normal and drain them immediately. Uh, put them into a small pot. I use these little pots from Tesco's and squirt on the liquid. You may need to squirt on a little bit more liquid over the next few hours. Once I've taken them on, you'll find a pellet that is really tough, really durable, and really oily that could be used on both the feeder and the waggler, which is ideal for summer use when there's lots of fish about and the last thing you want is your pellet falling off the hook. The great thing about um, preparing your pellets in this way is you can keep them in the fridge at home and they will last several weeks. And there we are, a few tips for you to get the most out of your expander pellets and hook pellets. Give it a go.